Today we're going to be adding mixed numbers with unlike denominators and with regrouping. Here we have 2 and 3 fifths plus 6 and 2 thirds. The first step we're going to take is to stack up the problems. We have 2 and 3 fifths plus 6 and 2 thirds. Now, because they don't have a like denominator, we are going to have to find a common denominator. For this example, we're going to use area models to help us find the common denominator. I'm going to go ahead and start by creating the area model for 3 fifths, followed by the area model for 2 thirds. Now starting with 3 fifths, I went ahead and created my area model. It's partitioned into fifths and I have the three parts shaded in. Second area model representing 2 thirds is partitioned into thirds and I have two parts shaded in. Now I'm going to have to partition them equally so that they have a common denominator. So I'm going to start off with my fifths. I'm going to partition that into thirds. Now I'm going to do the opposite to my thirds. I'm going to partition that into fifths. Now as you can tell both both area models are now partitioned equally into 15 parts so that now we have a common denominator. The whole numbers stay the same. The only thing I'm, I've been working with right now are just the fractions. Now I have equivalent fractions. So the equivalent fraction of 3 fifths is 9 fifteenths and the equivalent fraction of 2 thirds is 10 fifteenths. Now I can proceed to adding the problem. I always start off with my whole numbers. 6 plus 2 equals 8. On to my fractions. I only add the numerators. 9 plus 10 equals 19. My de denominator which represents partitions stays the same. So my preliminary answer is 8 and 19 15. Now this is the part where I'm going to have to regroup. Now when I regroup, all I'm really doing is just restating the way a number is stated. So if I were to say I have um, 5 quarters or 5 fourths, um, that's $1.25. Normally I wouldn't say 5 quarters, instead I would say I have $1.25 or I have a dollar and a quarter. So it means the same, it has the same value, it's just a different way of representing it. So now the question is, how do I convert this improper fraction into a mixed number? For this problem, I'm going to go ahead and use an area model to, to represent the conversion from improper to mixed number. I've created an area model representing 19 fifteenths. So first off, I have... Um, this first bar which represents one whole and it's partitioned into fifteenths. So I don't have 19 fifteenths yet so I go on to the next one. 16, 17, 18, 19. Those are the additional uh, parts that are needed to create 19 fifteenths. So consequently I have one whole and four fifteens uh, left over. So essentially that's why this works. We have 19 fifteens is equivalent in mixed number form to 1 and 4 fifteens. Now all that is left to do is to put, back, put that back together with our original whole number which was 8. So we have 8 plus 1 and 4 fifteenths equals 9 and 4 fifteenths 
which is my final answer.